Hi everyone and welcome back to Kimbo's Comfort Kitchen and today I got a special treat for you. So the other day I went to Chaffee's, my butcher up in Burnaby on Hastings. Um, they're amazing and I went in there and look what they found for me. This is a summer black truffle and it's not often that I get a chance to get it and it was a great price because they're not as expensive as winter truffles, but they're still pretty pricey. So I'm thinking, what can I do with some black truffles? And I thought, well, I love carbonara. So why don't I mix the black truffle into the carbonara? And rather than just shaving it on top, like a lot of people do with their pasta dishes, I decided that I would use a microplane and actually infuse it straight into the carbonara itself. And I have to tell you, Oh, nobody knows the truffles I've seen. I know I couldn't help it, but I'm telling you, it's amazing. This truffle, if you if you haven't had truffles before, um, it's very earthy. It's If you like mushrooms, you're probably gonna like uh, truffles. And the black summer truffle is not as uh, strong as the winter truffle is, but it has this amazing after um, taste to it with uh, almost uh, almond-like. Yeah, it's, it's more subtle. So when you mix this with the carbonara, and you know, for those of you who have made carbonara, you know that it can be a tricky dish. You know, sometimes you can end up with scrambled eggs if you don't do it right. Well, this way, I'm gonna show you how to do it. You'll never end up with scrambled eggs. It is benissimo. It's amazing. So let's get cooking, and I'm gonna show you how to make black truffle carbonara like you've never had before. So here's the basic ingredients. We're dealing with the uh, Parmigiano-Reggiano, pecorino, fresh cracked pepper, a little bit of garlic, and some pancetta, some eggs, and of course the star of the show, which is the black summer truffles, and some bucatini. And away we go. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna boil some water. That's how you make pasta. And I'm gonna let this boil. And when it comes to a roiling boil, then I'm gonna add about, uh, I don't know, two tablespoons of salt. Yeah, it's a lot of salt. But I'm, I'm gonna add that in there and then we'll uh, do the next step. So the next step is I've taken the pancetta and I'm putting this into a cold pan because I want to render this. I do not want to fry it. I want to render it slow and easy. So I put this on about half heat right now and as soon as I start to hear it uh, sizzle I'm gonna pull it down to about 25% uh, and just let it render out and you'll see what that looks like in a second. All right so in the meantime and in between time we are going to take the egg that we have, four eggs, and I'm going to take the cheeses. We're going to put that in there. Seems like a lot, but it's all grated, so it's quite fluffy. And pepper. And then I'm going to put the um, fungi in. Black truffle, summer truffle. And I'm going to take one teaspoon of that. And we'll make this into what they call the cream. So when this is all done, it'll be prepped. I'm going to let this sit for probably about uh, 10 minutes. I'm still waiting for the water to boil. And I'm not going to do anything until the water is going. Okay, so here's a little trick that I have is when you're using pancetta and it's really lean, which is this is, um, what I like to do is add a little bit of bacon fat into the mix, okay? Because we're not using the uh, cheeks. So we'll do this and it just sort of adds a little uh, je ne sais quoi when we're doing it, a little, and also a little bit of smokiness. So I gotta be honest with you, it's all about 
how long it takes for the pasta to cook. And that's how long it takes. <laughs> that's pretty funny, actually. Considering we got the pancetta going here. This will be great. I'm gonna turn the heat down. And I'm gonna show you this with the, all the cheese and everything. It looks like it's already congealed and everything, but it hasn't. So just wait and see. I'm going to add this. We do not want this pan to be very hot. As we've said so many times before. And we're going to take the bucatini out, which is al dente. And I'm not too worried about the water going in because that's what we want. It's all about slow, controlled cooking right now. If we do too high heat, obviously all the eggs are going to get cooked. And we don't want that. So, next comes the sauce. Everything that we put together, the cream as it were. We're going to put this in. And, again, this is, if you want this to be nice and creamy, without the eggs cooking. Here we go. We know it's gonna take a few moments. But it'll come up in a second. You'll see. It's all about keeping it moving. We want the water to emulsify with the fat, which is what we're seeing happen right now. And you gotta love this pasta with this dish. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so good. Like I said, it's about, oh, slow and steady makes the race here. These truffles add such a depth to this carbonara. I mean, it's pretty amazing. You look over here, this is perfect, perfect sauce. Nothing has congealed at all. There is Tons of salt from the cheese, so please don't add salt to this dish. And we're just gonna let this go for another minute or two. It's perfectly al dente. And then we're gonna plate this. Oh my goodness. This, <laughs> it just smells so good. <laughs> Seriously. And see how it's thickening up right now? And this is how you do it without having scrambled eggs. Just be a little patient. Oh, you know what I have to say? This is probably one of the best, best carbonaras I've ever made, aside from the truffles. It, with the bucatini and everything else, it's like, it. sorry, I know it sounds really egotistical, but this is almost perfect. So let's plate this. Okay, so I just added some pecorino to this, and I have to tell you, I just tasted this. This, I mean, I love carbonara, and there's so many different ways of doing this, but the depth of this dish with the uh, summer truffles is just bloody amazing. Please try it out. Let me know what you think, and uh, subscribe, and share. Please share. If you like this, if you don't like it, then don't share. Ciao.